Hello, today I'm going to be reviewing the Sailor Moon Propaganda Moonstick, released in 2014 for Sailor Moon's 20th anniversary by Bandai. Now, before we get started with the review, I just want to point out it's been a while since the last seen any Sailor Moon content on my channel. We are in the month of June this year. We have the Sailor Moon Cosmos movie coming out later this year. Also, this year is celebrating 20 years of Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon, or live action Sailor Moon, the TV series from 2003. And also, this year is also celebrating one year since the 30th anniversary of Sailor Moon in 2022 last year. So I thought I'd do some more Sailor, more Sailor Moon reviews and content on my channel for you guys. So let's get started. Starting off the box the Propa comes in, it comes in a white box, there's Propaga in the corner, warning hazard. There's an image of the moon stick, it's created out of like a, the Sierra Scout symbols, like a Mercury, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter symbols. Picture of the moon here. Got a stick and gold lighters in the front. In the corner, we got the Toy Animation logo. Made in 2014, made in China. I got the Takuchi. The Tishami Nations logo, Benai logo. The storage just had stick and gold lighters on the side. The top says propaganda gold lighters. Same thing with the bottom. In the back of the box is like pictures of the propaganda and stuff, some Japanese and stuff. Here's the 20th anniversary logo in the corner. Sarah Moon. Japanese and stuff. Warnings and stuff. Barcode. The box is a bit used condition. It's a little dirty though. I don't think that doesn't really matter much to me. And we get the mint stick out of the box. This is what both it and the accessories like the stand and the base and stuff come in. When you get out of the box. So let's move on to the moon stick itself. So you get the moon stick out of the box, you of course get the moon stick itself. You also get the base for the stand, both pieces for the stand, the silver crystal, the base for the silver crystal to be inserted into the center of the moon stick, the base for the silver crystal, the booklet for the moon stick propaganda itself. There's even instructions in English. Let's take a closer look at the moon stick itself. Take a closer look at the moon stick itself. It looks really nice, really accurate with all the colors and details, like how we see in the anime. Back here is the speaker, which Bandai is covered up, so there's no speaker holes or anything. The back is where the the batteries go. Bandai has that pretty well. The bottom here, there's a star symbol, a mill symbol, and a moon symbol. Those are like how you change the modes. You just switch this the bottom of the moon stick to change the modes. The top here is where you insert the silver crystal here. And here's the button to activate the lights and stones. Right here is the where the lights are. Here's a look at the silver crystal. Looks very nice, really accurate. It can be inserted into the silver crystal base, which the silver crystal base is shaped like how it is in the in the Sam R movie, Promise of the Rose from 1993. Power reacts with its power. You can also insert the silver crystal in this piece here, which is what you insert in the moon stick when you put the silver crystal in it. Here's what it looks like without the silver crystal. There's the light inside here. Here's the stand where you display the moon stick on. Looks so nice. Got details on the sides. I want to shake like a Crescent Moon symbol, which is nice. The book on here is a bunch of like warnings and stuff about it. On this side is where you insert the silver crystal. Let me show you what it looks like on display with the stand. Here's what the moon stick looks like on display with the silver crystal. Looks very nice. Nice display piece. If you're just displaying it. And on the stand, it measures close to about ten and a half inches tall. Here's the sheet of instructions in English that it comes with. It's very basic information. Just the contents you get with it, how you turn it off or on, how you switch the modes, how the lights and sounds you get, depends which mode you're in, if you short press or long press the button. There's no volume saying on this one because this is one of the first Propolica releases, and I think the way released Propolica has had volume settings. We could adjust the volume, like make it higher or lower sounding. This one does not have a volume setting like the other Propolica releases. Here's the booklet that it comes with. You have the Propica on the front, it says Moonstick, any logos, Propica. 
look inside, you can see how, like, Siren's picture from the anime. She's holding the moonstick on this side, and down here is when she's pretty ready for all her friends to pull, take hold of the moonstick and use the power to combine to feed Queen Beryl in the final episode of, of season one. This side is just information about the history about the 1992 virtual moonstick by Bandai and the 2000 world version by Bandai as well. Also, it's Japanese, which you can't read, but I managed to Google Translate it. I'll put it on the screen just so you guys can if you want to pause it and just read it. So I managed to Google Translate it. If you want to know what all this says. Inside, it's just the instructions in Japanese and stuff of how you assemble the stand, so crystal that's inserted, how you change the batteries and stuff, and how the modes work. Very basic. The back, just yeah, the 20th anniversary logo, just a bunch of warnings and stuff. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Now, changing the batteries for this are pretty simple. Just pop off the back of the moon stick. Take Phillips as a screwdriver, unscrew the battery compartment panel. You should be able to access the batteries. Of course, three LR44 or button cell batteries, which are not included. So these prop guns do include batteries, but some do not. All right, now we'll demonstrate the lights and sounds that it has. Now, if you saw the instructions, I turned it off or on, or I changed the modes. It's controlled by twisting the bottom of the moon stick. Star mode is no dialogue mode, and moon mode is with dialogue. So we'll show you the dialogue mode first. Switch to the left and see what it does. Remember to turn to either of those modes. All three of the lights light up on there and it'll make that sound. All three of the lights light up here, red, yellow, and green. If you're press or want to press the start button, you'll get different sounds. So we'll demonstrate that. A short press in dialogue mode and see what it does without the silver crystal. So you get the original Moon Healing Escalation with Sailor Moon's original Japanese voice actor, plus one of the monster sounds when the evil energy is drained from them from one of the episodes. And we long press it. So we long press it, we get Sailor Moon's fight speech without the music though, and the lights don't light up at all. And that's it for moon mode or dialogue mode without the silver crystal. I'll give you a demonstration of star mode or no dialogue mode without the silver crystal. Switch it to the right and give a demonstration of no dialogue mode. And let's short press it and see what it does. You get Moon Healing Escalation without dialogue. If we long press it. We get the Monster Detector Mode where the Moonstick will beep as a sign it can use as a tracker to track down any of the seven monsters carrying one of seven of the seven rainbow crystals that are needed to symbol the legendary silver crystal. Also, all the lights here light up red orange. And if you press it again while it's beeping, it can make speed up the beeping noises to like intensify it more. As sound like there's a monster close by with one of the seven of the rainbow crystals. Make a demonstration of that.
so it can make the bee pings intensify more as a sign there was a monster carrying one of seven the seven rainbow crystals nearby. Now I'll give you a demonstration of what it does when you have the silver crystal inserted. Okay. Uh, Maybe silver crystal is pretty easy. There are two buttons on the side underneath here. Just push them together and the top piece in the middle will pop out. Easily remove it. Just take the silver crystal here and just insert it in the center of the moon stick like this. You're ready to go. Now I'll give you a demonstration of what the lights and sounds do in the mode when it has the silver crystal inserted in the top of it. Switch to dialog mode first and show you what it does. I'm going to give you a demonstration of what it does when you short press it in dialog mode. We get moon healing escalation, silver crystal version. Also the lights light up differently, a different pattern on here. And silver crystal lights up of several different colors. And once again, it's different it's original Javi's voice actor. If we long press it. We get Moon Healing Escalation, Queen Serenity's version. We also get Queen Serenity's original Javi's voice actor as well. The Moon Healing Escalation theme with Silver Crystal is different as well, if you may have noticed. And that's it for the mode with dialogue with the Silver Crystal inserted. Now I'll give you a demonstration of what it does with the Silver Crystal in no dialogue mode. Short press the button and see what it does in no dialogue mode. So you get Moon Healing Escalation, Silver Crystal version with no dialogue. If we long press it. We get Moon Healing Escalation, Silver Crystal version, Queen version. That's it for the lights and sounds that it does for both modes. Dialogue or no dialogue mode normally, or dialogue or no dialogue mode with the silver crystal. So the sounds are pretty accurate. The dialogue and the sounds that sound like they got from the original Sailor Moon episodes from the 90s. And here's what the light looks like inside if you move the silver crystal off the piece in here. Show you what it looks like. So yeah, that's what it looks like. That's a few different colors the lights up in. I'll turn off the lights real quick and show you what the moon stick looks like in the dark. Alright, got the lights turned off. Now I'll show you what the lights look like in the dark. We'll do like moon haze escalation, no dialogue mode. I'll do in straight the monster detector mode. Now I'll do in straight the silver crystal mode. Do the normal version, no dialogue first.
Now doing Moon Healing Escalation, so personal version, slash the Queen version. He's like, it's like we can turn it on also. So yeah, that's what the lights look like in the dark. They have a pretty bright, bright glow, which looks really nice. I fortunately do not have any of the original vintage releases of the Moonstick from 1992 or 2000 by Bandai to compare with this one, but here's what they look like. The original 1992 release by Bandai, this moon crescent symbol shape is inaccurate. Instead of having a removable silver crystal, it has two or three removable rings instead. It does play Moon Healing Escalation. And it also plays Moon Healing Escalation, Silver Crystal version, if you have any of the rings inserted at the top of it in the middle. The 2000 World version is Moon Crescent symbol shape is shaped more accurately. The one is a little bigger, like I think the handle is a bit longer. It has two star buttons instead of one on it. It has an on off switch on as well. It has Silver Crystal on the top, which does light up, not removable. One of the buttons does the Moon Healing Escalation theme, the Silver Crystal version. And their one plays Simran's Fight Speech theme. So we can bring them all side to side. It's pretty awesome the Propaga is the best out of all three of them. It's shaped much more accurately, has better details, plays more accurate versions of Moon Healing Escalation, Normal, and the Silver Crystal version. We also have the original Simran Javi's voice actors. It's on some of the, the modes as well, which is nice. So I don't have the original Moon Sticks from 1992 and 2000 by Bandai to compare with this one with the Moon Hill Escalation themes, the normal one, and the Snow Crystal versions, but I'll just post some video clips of what those ones sound like. that Bandai definitely improved on their propaganda version of the Moonstick, made the colors, details, and the sounds much more accurate than compared to the 1992 and 2000s releases of the Moonsticks. Bandai also released another version of the Moonstick that was based off the live-action pre-Guardian Sailor Moon TV series from 2003. That Moonstick has a completely different design compared to the one we see in the anime. Like, the handle's light pink, this area here is completely different, and the crescent moon symbol right here is light blue instead of gold. And also does not have the silver crystal. And the sounds are different as well. And that version of the Moonstick is also used in the Sailor Moon Crystal series, or the Sailor Moon Reboot series, you might say. I don't have the 2003 live action pre Garden Sailor Moon Moonstick to compare with, but I'll just put a clip of what that one does. It would also be cool if these propagas included a certificate of authenticity, but they don't, unfortunately. This is what my custom concept for a Sailor Moon propaga certificate of authenticity would look like. I based the design off a Toy Story Collection certificate of authenticity. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of my custom Sailor Moon propaga certificate of authenticity idea. So that's my review of the Sailor Moon propaga Moonstick. I got off eBay in August 2022. For around 60, 70, or 80 dollars plus shipping. So if you want to get this moon stick today, you can find it on eBay like you did with mine. Just make sure it's in good condition. It doesn't have any scratches or my wear on it, or that's not missing all the accessories that it comes with. I have seen some people have had defective moon sticks, like where the you press the button and play the sounds, the, the sounds would get cut off and it would play the sound when you turned it on. We all know Sarah Tortilla had that problem with one or two of her Propaga Moonsticks, which I'll put the video clip of that and show you guys. So yeah, I can't tell if that's how hers was or if it was the batteries she had used in hers. And Shine Polaris had the same problem with hers as well. 
go check out both those videos. There's links in the description for them. So, if you get this moon stick, just make sure it's not defective or anything. I'm not sure if some of the propagate moon sticks were defective. I'm not really sure if it was, or if it was just the batteries that were used in them. Because the batteries are not included with some of these propagates. The other 44 batteries are used with mine were new in packaging. So as always, enjoy this video. Please make sure you hit the like button. If any questions or requests anything, please feel free for you to leave a comment below down in the comment section. If you'd like to see more viewer views and content, please make sure you subscribe to the channel where I say what Moon would say. And remember, the Moonlight is the messenger of love. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.